Today I thought I'd shoot a video solution for assembling a rosebud puzzle using an assembly jig. I've heard mixed comments about showing solutions of puzzles in videos or on paper either. Um, and so this is a spoiler video. Uh, if you don't want to see this solution, please turn it off. Um, but I also know that there are many people who never take apart puzzles because they're not sure if they can get them back together. So hopefully this video will make people a little more comfortable to play with puzzles, take them apart, and then uh, see the aha moments that, that come with reassembly. So this is a rosebud puzzle. It's been around a long time and uh, designed by Stuart Coffin. And it's a coordinate motion puzzle that consists of six pieces, three left and three right-handed pieces. And um, they assemble with complete coordinate motion. All six pieces need to be expanded almost to the point of collapse um, before they can really be put into the right positions and, and then assembled, which is very difficult without some aids. Now you can use uh, tape or rubber bands um, to help you along. Um, I even have a friend who assembled a rosebud inside a bottle. Um, that really puts me to shame. Um, I know that I used to stress out over assembling a rosebud puzzle, um, especially after I make one and it's in real good condition. I've made sure that all the points and all the edges are uh, nice and clean and sharp and everything, and then I would struggle with assembling it um, before I would sell the copy um, because I was nervous that I'd break off the points. <clears throat> and so this assembly jig has been a uh, um, a real help to me. Um, it, it's much easier to assemble a rose, rosebud puzzle using this assembly jig than it is with uh, rubber bands or with tape. Um, I also had a few questions last year about how a rosebud actually uh, works. Um, the way you expand a rosebud is you squeeze the special colored blocks sort of kind of in an inward direction. You can see how it um, expands as it goes and thus the name the rosebud it looks like a, a flower opening um, and then you to, to reassemble it back you, you squeeze it back on the on the flats out here um, so you can see it expanding and contracting there and opening and thus the name the rosebud and as I mentioned earlier this is a six piece coordinate motion puzzle it needs to be expanded almost to the point of collapse even further out than this before each of the three points on this side can be aligned and on the opposite side is a, a mirror image. Those six points need to be aligned just perfectly. See how they overlap each other mutually? Same thing on the other side. Those need to be uh, in place just right before uh, the rosebud puzzle pieces can be um, assembled together and then collapse down to make the full solution, which is quite difficult without the jig. So I'll show the assembly procedure here in a moment. As I noted earlier, there are three right-handed and three left-handed pieces to the rosebud. Um, I named them uh, as, as such here since this is a right-handed prism block. It points to the right-hand side if you kind of look down the cr triangular cross-section. These three have the right-handed uh, prism blocks and then the three on the left have the left-handed prism block. You can see if you look at the triangular cross-section it points to the left. And so one of each needs to be assembled at a time, one at a time. I'll set them apart here. The way I make these assembly jigs, just the way that I make them, it just happens that the right-handed pieces, the right-handed special blocks, go down inside the jig. And if you have one of these in front of you, it's a little more obvious. But all the right-handed pieces fit down inside this cradle here in such a way that they will mutually overlap the way that they should. If you can Here's see a better that. look of how they mutually overlap down in the jig, how it cradles the uh, puzzle pieces and holds them in there. But of course, their left-handed pieces are not in place yet, and so those need to be assembled. So I'm going to take this back apart, um, but that's essentially what we're going to be aiming for um, as we go. But first, I like to assemble a right and a left-handed pair. The right-handed piece, again, is going to go down into that socket down in there in the, in the jig. But the left-handed piece needs to be assembled first, and so the way I do that is I assemble the left-handed piece into the right-handed piece, like this, and then the left-handed piece is supported by this face of the jig there. And that'll hold in place, hold the right-handed, left-handed pair um, in place as you go. 
next right-handed piece and the next left-handed piece gets assembled inside here like this and that is assembled down into the next little pocket making sure to get those right-handed pieces to overlap on down at the bottom of the jig and so you can see the beauty of this jig how it holds all the pieces at that most expanded position until you can align all the points, all the six points, and get it to collapse together. Which is quite a feat without the, a jig or without rubber bands or without um, some other method. So then the last pair I assemble once again, very similar. This one's a little trickier to get in to the assembly because you need to wrap this hook on this left-handed piece around the first right-handed piece that we put in. So that needs to be made, it needs to be wrapped around and then slid down very carefully without allowing the others to fall off. Getting the right handed points to all line up down underneath there is sometimes a challenge. I reach down in there with a pencil eraser sometimes if I can't get them to um, align just right. And there you see they're all overlapped just like they should be down inside the jig. And then we turn our attention to the points on the top. Those don't always just fall into place, but we can move those uh, slightly uh, while the puzzle sits in the jig here. And now you could see, see it probably start to collapse inward. So then you lift it out of the jig, and voila, you have a rosebud assembly. So this isn't a complete spoiler, there's actually one more uh, solution, one more assembly that a rosebud puzzle will um, make and that also requires some coordinate motion, not quite the same as this one. I'll leave that one for you to puzzle over. Thanks for watching.